okay, so we got to done out today now for creation. We're going to just talk a little bit about um marriage, right? Right, you know, I'm um, over the weekend. We saw um mm -hmm. some some East Indian, he, he chop up his wife, mm -hmm. and then I'm and then after what, what, um, what he, mm. he drink, he drink poison, drink poison, can, can. Drink poison and then mm -hmm. right now. Hmm. Those things that's mostly gone in the East Indian community, right? But you know, it, it had those things that has gone in the black community too. Right. Right. So what I want, what I want to touch on here is, is pertaining to the black community, right? You, you give me um, Christians, right? Christians seven. All right. I just want to touch a little bit about in the black community. First things first. Mm -hmm. You know. Yes, sir. You you're weak. You you're gonna be weak. For not seeking counsel, mm -hmm. a weak person won't want to go and seek counsel. Mm -hmm. You understand? Uh, um, a, a weak person goes go rather hit mm. on a woman or vice versa. The woman hit mm -hmm. on the man. Right. You understand? Know um, domestic violence goes both ways. Mm -hmm. Is either the man or the woman? Mm -hmm. Right. It's just, it's just men does sometimes you just express it more physically, and women does express it more verbally. Mm -hmm. Right, but it sometimes you know it has come physical with the woman too. Mm -hmm. Right, it's just most of the times that woman has expressed it verbally. Mm -hmm. Right, but domestic violence has go both ways. Mm -hmm. Right, and somebody who is weak would not want to seek counsel. Mm -hmm. Right, somebody who is strong go want to come and seek counsel. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know you you have an argument with your wife or, or the wife have an argument with your husband. All I'd rather argue and fight than to come and see counsel so I could mm. resolve the issue. Right. You know, and I see it and right there just in the midst. Mm -hmm. and, and once you both, um, the, the husband and the wife understand that, hey, this is just Satan here in the midst trying to mash up, up the relationship. That's right. People will understand that, hey, I, get the behind me, Satan. You know, Correct. as Christ Correct. said, get the behind me, Satan. Right. You know, because Satan wanted to do something. Mm -hmm. Wrong, right? You understand? Mm -hmm. So all of this come and see counsel. Nothing wrong with coming and seeking counsel. You understand? If all I want to see counsel, you know, uh, tell the people in, in the IHPK here, because we're the only one who does get mm -hmm. true counsel from the Lord. Right, correct. You understand? And that number again is two nine zero five one seven three. Correct. You understand? If you want to see counsel from the Lord, mm -hmm. you understand? Um, we know we we also know that in the in the household, the man is the authority. Right. Right in the household, the man is the number one authority. Mm -hmm. But it also supposed to have an authority watching him. Right. You understand? Know Correct. Like like who's supposed to be watching the man? Right. The man is the number one authority, but who is supposed to be watching him? Right. You understand? Know so now that is why you're supposed to have certain institutions. Right. To always, you know, look over that that man, right? And when he going off, mm -hmm. you know, is he that he come and say something wrong here? I find something wrong. I, I feel mm -hmm. like doing something wrong, right? You know, my my rib mature and then I can a particular way. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know, or, or if the man in authority just seeing him doing something wrong, he could step in and say you're doing something wrong, right? Right? Those institutions is okay. Well. Mm. In this school, <laughs> we have commanding general Hannah. That's right. Yes, sir. You understand? Know right. He's the man. Right. In charge. Mm -hmm. You know, if we're doing something wrong, you know, he could step in and say, you know, or like I'll be doing that. You right. Know, if if we feel mm -hmm. ourselves we're going off in some way, we could go to command in general hand. Yes. And he would guide us accordingly. Can and can. that is why we have strong sisters and strong brothers in the school because even though we have we the number one authority in the house, the men, right. it's supposed to have a higher authority watching the men over yes, the house. Go ahead, tell if I'm your son, also because Again, just like the Bible, that's a, just in the example of the Bible, the same thing the ICPK does do here, because you have a whole department set up for councils. So you have generals, you know, then you have captains. That did, so it have a, it have a system of checks and balances that matters could be handled accordingly, you know, certain things you have men with the certain strengths and all that. So it is an entire government, and there is a place where you can seek solace and refuge, you know what I mean, and get your matters handled, you know what I mean? Anything that you need to show about and all of that, you know, we also have a saying in the school that don't be sure, make sure. You know, so certain things that, you know, you might not handle properly and all that, you know, I mean, they double check. It's better to double check and ensure than to have things going, of course, you know, and then you, you're being offensive to each other and, and then again, see it and having an opportunity again to, to further break apart what you're supposed to be building. Because what the Lord say again, what he joined, which means sex, you understand, or a courtship and all. 
what you join together, what you intend to put together, let no man put asunder, you know, so, you know, you, they, they, you owe it to each other, right, you owe it to your families, you owe it to your communities, as black, Hispanic, and Native Indian people, to seek out the Lord refuge, to, to seek out the answers in the ISUPK under command in General Yana. We have a place for that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most and Christ, you understand? Uh, I mean, also, the scripture, I have a scripture, I just, I think that says, for the men, don't be a lion in your own house. Mm -hmm. You know, Sam, we know the man, he masculine, you know, he, he just talk loud, you know, eventually might turn to, you know, something violent, physical, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes he might talk to a woman too hard, she might want to cry. Mm -hmm. The Bible said, don't be a lion in your own house. Mm -hmm. It didn't say, um, don't emasculate yourself, mm -hmm. but just don't be a lion, you know, you ain't had a roar so loud, mm -hmm. you know, she, she, she's a woman, um, I believe it's a, 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 a paraphrase in the scripture. The, 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 um, the weaker yeah. vessel. Yeah, the weaker vessel. And she do right. the talk according to knowledge, yeah. Right. Cancer. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. You know, take care of the wife because she's the weaker vessel. Mm -hmm. You know, take care of her. Mm -hmm. You understand? Vice versa, you know, the wife take care of the husband. Mm -hmm. You know, you as the wife, if you see your husband going off, you know, you could take care of him, but not, you know, show it up in this mm -hmm. mannish way. You know, you can't have two men in your house. Right. You can have a man and a woman. Right. You could be... I mean, a woman so powerful, and a woman don't know how powerful she is. Mm -hmm. She just had to be effeminate. Um, feminine. Right. That's all she had to be, feminine. Right. Just be a woman. And right. you will you go see that woman, mm -hmm. she she go um, she go take down governments. That's it. Just by being a woman. Come just by being soft-spoken mm -hmm. and being kind and courteous. So like I said. That's all on her. And she go take down governments. Come on, come on. So like I said, if I mean, because to get them a... A kind of real life example is like this now, you know? Just in the same way, a father or a son will approach a father then, you know? With um, Salah. Well, Salah can be sorry in Hebrew, right? So you're trying to get the attention of your father. You know, you can't come with him, manish, and, you know, bold face. Mm -hmm. You see him probably leave something on the counter, or whatever it is, you know? Or something in the bathroom, or whatever the case is, you know? You bring something to your man's attention the same way. Just as you expect your child to not disrespect the, the parents in the house, because if you disrespect any father, he'll disrespect you as a woman too. Right, so you come in, you know, with a soft spoken way and say, you know, if I'm if I'm me, right? I, I notice some babes, you know what I mean? And we could take a different approach to that. You know, I, I ask him if you could hear him out for a little bit. Right? You see this here? I, I noticed this, this and this. And I didn't think it was me. I might be I might be right, you know. But I know this it could have been, you know, if 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 anything I'm correct me if I'm wrong. I think this could have been handled better. You know, and you all practice on communicating with each other because that is what Satan doesn't want. That is what this society doesn't want. Us communicating and really healing back our relationships, our families and all that. That is a big, big part of it. And we've been bred in, in our culture to not communicate and not be open enough or, or thoughtful enough, I should say, or brave enough then to be thoughtful enough to go and bring the approach to somebody so that they can get it resolved. You know, everybody we've seen something as contention as opposed to getting it sorted out to move past that, to grow beyond it now, you know, to grow better. As the scriptures say, when you bring something to you and your brother alone, right? That was scripture in Matthew 18. If somebody offend you, you bring it to him and him alone, right? And that way, if your brother hear you out, you gain your brother. The same way with your husband, you gain your husband. Your husband get more respect for you. He, he love you more because now you're looking out for him. The same way you expect him to look out for you because he's the man he's supposed to lead, but at some times... You know, you all have to have enough mercy, you know, and compassion in you all to understand that we've been stripped away from everything that we're supposed to have. Look at the communities already. So use them things and them as, as, as opportunities now to build. Have patience with each other, you know what I mean? Then, of course, when you all go and get the answers together, or babes, you know, I believe you could go and get some, you know, some advice for this, right? Sweeten them up, you know, wherever it is. You know, your man might be a little more rash in us, and he might be wherever the case is, but I am man. Right, so sweet them up, make something nice, you know, bring out the, the alcohol he like to get, you know, and babes, you're going, I see something here. Yeah? If, if you get time, you know, there's somebody that, that can handle this and, you know, they, they do this for this person. I think we could, you know, go and ask a question or two and see if we could help, we could help yourself, you know. Probably get a little idea how to do this, how to do that, you know. And just use, your, you know, use the, the, the a careful approach, but not to overthrow the man authority, not to make him feel threatened. Right, but use your femininity and use them ways. Just the same way you go use it by the boss to try and get a raise or whatever the case is, to work something out, use them same feminine ways and them to now build up your house. A wise woman has built up a house, but a evil woman has stayed down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that is it. You know, so once, that, once you be feminine woman, you don't know how you can take down governments. Mm -hmm. that, that is all you need to be. Mm -hmm. You know, so I believe there's a scripture that said, um, don't forsake the wife of thy bosom. Right. You know, so you know, as a husband, you know you have to take care of your wife too. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, 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 take care of protector. It's mm -hmm. like how the lion that does protect. 
You right. are meeting in the um the field, you right. to protect her, protect the woman and children. Mm-hmm. And that's what supposed to do. Correct. You know, and, um, how the scriptures say we had them like princes. princes. That's right. Princesses. Princesses that wouldn't yes, that yeah. wouldn't veer to, 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 to put their foot on the yeah. ground. Yeah. yeah. They would feel like if they can't touch That's the, right. the, the foot on the ground. Well protected. Mm-hmm. And that's how we're supposed to be, you know. And if we have an argument and we fall out, mm-hmm. we have to know that they they say turn and let me make back up. Right. You know, son, let me make back up. If you can't make back up now, I believe, I believe it. Yeah, the mm-hmm. first question, John. Um, the part where they said we could separate. Yeah, part, um, for part time. time yeah. Kalungan, that's right. Mm-hmm. No, the scripture say we could se- separate for a while. Mm-hmm. And then for the separate for a while, she as a woman don't have to get an next man. She has to stay single. Mm-hmm. She has to stay single. She right. cannot get an next man. Just separate. You know, all the cool off if it's at two months, three months, or they need a cool off for. And all the come back together. Right. You understand? And you as human do go and get on next man. Right. And you and understand? in the meantime, work on the work on the things in them that you know that, that was that was messing up all the relationship in the first place. Take yeah. the time to do that, to go and get counsel and strengthen that. So that when all they come back together now, you're all moving on, on one accord. Mm-hmm. You know, it could be peace in the house and them different things because it's plenty of things that we ain't learn. You know, especially a man he gonna know like about any truth, you know, he coming through three years, four years, whatever case. Some brothers more militant, you understand, and some because that is the that is just the nature that the Lord give them. But still they could, you know, learn how to use some more wisdom and over time they get seasoned. But some places, you know, you'll have you'll have that. You'll have men that, that more sensitive. Well, I ain't gonna say sensitive, but they're more alert to certain things, they're more mindful of certain things because of experience. And then have men that do have that. Right, so be mindful of that, and just remember that this is our nation. And a courtship doesn't mean that you have to get, you know, that you have to get together, right? But if you're married already, woman, brother, you understand? If you're married already, make sure that you all do every step it take to maintain that relationship, because the Lord see you all, you understand, as one flesh for the rest of your life, and build that thing up. All right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, once again, you should tell someone, huh? Come, come, all do. You understand? All right? separate for a little while, man. It do means all of fight, all of argue. Mm-hmm. You understand? Um, and all I have to say, if you feel they're being forced to stay together, all I could mm-hmm. separate for a while. Mm-hmm. Right? She not getting her next man, right? Because that is a sin. She become um, she could be an adulteress. Mm-hmm. If she get her next man, she has to stay by herself. Mm-hmm. When she separate from the man, mm-hmm. after she cool off, if it's a month, two months, however long she feel that she need to cool off, or you come back now with that man. Mm-hmm. You understand? Don't let Satan mash up the relationship that are going on here amongst blacks and Hispanic. Because cause right now, Satan, he, he is in blacks and Hispanic people right now just mashing up mm-hmm. new relationships. And if we know that it's Satan in the mix here just mashing up, like a woman go get vexed for um, she husband because he had, he turned the mug upside and down in his sink. Mm. You understand? That is Satan. Mm-hmm. I mean, you getting upset. You getting so upset with your husband for because you turn the mug upside and down in his sink. You know, mm-hmm. because you find that, that is, you wasn't raised up so by your parents or whatever. Mm-hmm. Nah, that, that is Satan, man. Nah. Mm-hmm. Uh, all you need counseling. Right. All you don't need to go and kill each other and fight each other and chop up each other. All you don't need to do that. Mm-hmm. If all you don't know how to um, come in terms with each other, mm-hmm. come and seek counsel. Right. You understand? Now look at daily number 290-5173. That's the Trinidad number in ISUPK. Mm-hmm. Right here in Trinidad. Come and get the council that all the need. All mm-hmm. blacks and Hispanic people. You understand? All the Hispanic people, all of all of feel we can't speak Spanish. Yet our people in the school that can speak Spanish. Right. So I look at call the number, you know? You understand? We put you on to, to the, the council that can speak Spanish. Right. You understand? Because mm-hmm. we is the, the lost 12 tribes of Israel. Right. You know, so we're trying to build back this nation right now. It, it, it ain't going to be a, a, you stop your finger and you know the nation go build back. Right. It's brick by brick. Right. You know, so we, go, we, we go work. We go take our time, but we That's working right. on it. That's right. You know, so when Christ returns, you know, so the government got be already there set up. Right. And Christ could just have to be, just take over the authority. That is all. Everything will done be set up already. When Christ returns, and, and guess what? Christ is coming very soon. Right. You know, and Christ is coming very soon. So all blacks and Hispanic people, all, all who feel all our marriage problems, you know, the woman feel, well, she husband, get her next woman. Well, you could stay with him. You know, and nothing wrong right. if you get her next woman. Right. You know, and nothing at all wrong if you get her next woman. And also in the Bible, the man 
could leave the woman. The Bible never said a woman could leave a man. Right. So even if the man did something wrong, mm-hmm. the woman, she has to stay with the man. Mm-hmm. You understand? If you want to separate, okay, fine. The Bible says you can separate and cool off. But do not get a next man even though you separate. Right. The only time a woman could get a next man is if she husband dies. That the only time. Mm-hmm. You understand? So I'm here. Any closing thing that Tom Tazo? Um, I'll find the scripture though. You want to read it real quick? Yeah, read it real quick. Come on, come on, right? Um, first Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 5, right? Defraud ye not one another, except it be with consent for a time, that ye may give yourselves to fasting and prayer, and come together again, that Satan tempt you not for your incontinency. Right, so I said separate, and then mm-hmm. you come back together again. Right. Right? Right. Shalom. All right, Shalom, you don't know. Thanks again for viewing all the come through again. Call, call the school again, 2905173. Tune into Black Watch tonight. 9, 9 p.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time, Facebook and YouTube, Black Watch with Commander General Liana. Shalom. 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 It is a right school of universal practical knowledge under Commanding General.